Hi everyone, welcome back to our video. So, today is the last lesson of lesson 2. So, we're gonna learn the study about two consonants, P and H, and we're gonna learn about six words. So, you ready? Then, let's get started. Pado. So, the fourth consonant, T, is pronounced similar to T sound, T. First, P, Pado, P, Pado, wave. So, have you ever experienced surfing on a wave? Actually, I haven't yet. So, one of my friends learned surfing in Hawaii for months, and I really envied it. And he was really good at it, like a movie star. So, I really want to do like that in foreign countries, such as Hawaii and San Francisco or LA. Actually, um, I haven't finished doing my military duty yet. So, um, after the military and after COVID-19, I will definitely go for surfing with my friend and upload some photo and video on my Instagram. Pizza. Second, p pizza, p pizza, pizza. So, do you love pizza? What's your favorite pizza brand? My favorite pizza brand is Domino's Pizza and Pizza Hut. So, there are various kinds of pizza flavor that I can't choose which flavor is the best. So, but um, I want to suggest you that finding the review of pizza on the internet and choose it. So people love eat the pizza with coke. But now in Korea, um, a lot of people love to eat pizza with beer. If you're okay, um, eat pizza with beer and watch our video. That's gonna be perfect. Piano. Third, P piano, P piano, piano. So. Um, do you know Korean drama Crash Landing on You? In this drama, uh, the main actor Hyun Bin played the piano in Switzerland. My mother watched this video and so impressed at his playing. Actually, I'm also so impressed when I listen to the piano. And I heard that so many girls love men playing the piano. <laughs> so I think I have to learn piano for getting girlfriend <laughs> Hama The second consonant here is pronounced similar to H sound Fourth P Hama P Hama Hippo So, when I'm watching TV and changing channels I sometimes watch animal documentary for 2 minutes So, I watch the Hippo on TV and opening their mouths up is scary enough for me to change the channel immediately. <laughs> so I'm not sure I can see a real hippo in Korea or Africa savanna. Um, but if that moment comes, I will definitely try to take a selfie with hippo like this. Hebaraki. Fifth. P, hebaraki, p, hebaraki, sunflower. So I played baseball for about like ten years. <laughs> so I'm always watching um, baseball video clip on YouTube. Um, in baseball video, we can see that MLB players eat sunflower seed. Also, uh, when I went to America for spring camp, I could see many players eat um, sunflower seed. But, you know, our team coach didn't allow that. Yeah, so I was so, so, so sad. But now I can eat some flower seed because I quit playing baseball. <laughs> so, um, actually in Korea, people eat some flower seed for snack when drinking beer, like, you know. <laughs> but that's not really my style. Hoppa. Sixth, 
Opa, pumpkin. So, pumpkin has different shapes and sweet flavors. And Korean loves to make cuisine with pumpkin, such as like rice cake and the porridge and fried pumpkin. That means the pumpkin is the most neat ingredient for us. In America, American makes um, jagged lantern by different shapes of pumpkin and using for a Halloween party. In Korea, Halloween season, um, there are many models of the jack o' lantern, but I think it can't make uh, the real feel of Halloween by pumpkin, you know. So actually, um, I haven't experienced the Halloween in America yet. So I hope I will have a chance to make my own pumpkin. All right, guys. So this is the end of our lesson. We've learned about six words today. How was it? How many words can you remember in this lesson? So after watching this video, please watch the writing and typing practice video. That will be helpful for you to learn Korean more easily. You know. So if you have any question, please ask us via Instagram or write a reply on our video. So thank you guys and see you next time.